Hey guys, I just got done with work, and apparently this is the time of day where I make the worst decisions for my life, so here's another rant video. And I again, I want to warn anybody who's like coming to my channel for bookish and writerly stuff, and you don't want to hear anything quote-unquote political from me, like just skip this video, it's fine. I, I'm gonna private it in like around a week anyway, so like legit, just skip it, it's okay. Anyway, the weather was so nice out here. It's like about to rain. It's like that about to rain moment that you get. And I was like, I have a lot to rant about that's going to make people really upset with me. But I don't care. Because apparently upsetting people is what I do. Um, so, where to begin? That's the problem with the ramble. I don't plan them out beforehand. Where to actually begin? I am in favor of a major reform for the police, and that often might come in the form of defund the police, and already I can feel you clutching for your pearls, just like unclench for a hot second. I'm going to tell you a little story. Uh, the other day, I went to work, and at the beginning of my work day, we, I go into the office to get my tasks for the day, you know, check in and find out what apartments I'm cleaning that day. And while I was in there for like the morning meeting, in comes a cop, you know, full ass cop, badge, radio, gun, all of it. And we're like, the fuck is going on? Just like a major noise complaint or something. But no, this man was chasing a paper trail of somebody of a, you know, prior tenant who was claiming that their their signature on their lease wasn't theirs. You know, like their signature had been forged. So this whole ass cop with a gun was being made to do this stupid thing that is does not require a cop. And that's why one of the reasons I'm like, I think even people who are who are against like defund the police can agree that that is a stupid job for a cop. Like, seriously. So I feel they need to 100% be better trained to de-escalate. Because I've seen so many videos of cops going to town, going crazy, and bystanders de-escalating the situation better than the cops are. So the cops need way better training. We need to put that money towards better training instead of military equipment. They don't need military equipment. They need better training. And you're like, well, what happens when there's riots? Well, maybe there won't be as many riots if we start to reform shit. But whatever. I've already had a lady yell at me out of her car that she hopes I'm killed because the cops won't come to save me. So, you know, if you want to say that in the comments, that's up to you. I've already had it, so... Um, but where was I going with this? Oh yeah, um, where I re what I really want to talk about is this trend of people that I see. Now I see it online, of course, but actually I'm talking more about the ones that I see in real life. Who are, in my opinion, simping for the cops. They just really want to show the cops, we're there for you cops. We're here to protect you, poor cops. We're, we're, we're the good guys. Cops, look at us. Can we have a cookie? Here's a blowjob, cops. You know, I'm being very dramatic about it, of course. But I was at a rally uh, the other day in a fairly racist small town where there were a lot of, I call them good old boys, white men, middle-aged white men out there with their, like, some of them had vests on, all of them had guns, like, unnecessarily aggressive guns. And, like, my group of the rally ended up, my, my section of the rally, there were people carrying in the rally overall, but my section was unarmed and at least 50% women. If that gives you an idea of our threat level, you know, not saying that women can't be dangerous, but middle-aged white men are probably not going to see me as as much of a threat as a black man. Um, but so we're facing these guys, just keeping an eye on them. And there's like four or five guys, middle-aged white men with guns up on this hill in a park and they're watching down on us and they've got fucking binoculars and they've got a drone and they're just like sitting up there thinking they're like soldiers in a war and meanwhile me and my friends are just standing down there just keeping an eye on them in case they try some shit and we are completely harmless to them 
And you know why they're up there? It's because they want the cops to see them. They want to be like, look at us cops, we're protecting you. And I mean that city was swarming with cops. I am 1000% certain that every policeman that they had in their department was out for this rally. So it wasn't like the cops were underrepresented. They were fucking there. And still these white guys felt like they needed to turn out to protect people's property from our nonviolent march to protect. And it just strikes me as simping for the cops. Like they want the police to come and be like, you were a good boy. Here's a cookie. Thank you so much for defending me. And I see it in memes online too, where some people will be like, I would stand up for a cop if he were in danger. And it's like, that's cool. Would you stand up for a black man? Would you post that meme as well, please? Like, are you just standing up? Because the cops already have so much power. They have the guns. They have the military equipment. They have the law on their side. Co- bad cops, as we have established, and if you want to you know, say that there are, there are good cops, well, then you might also agree that the bad cops still need to be punished when they murder someone, but they universally aren't. So the police have most all of the power in most every situation. And yet there are people out here who are like, I need to defend this policeman instead of the person that's in danger from the policeman. And I just don't understand. And maybe my comment section is going to fill with people explaining to me how the police need our protection. But it's like, if the police need our protection, something is wrong with the police. Like, seriously, reform the police department so it fucking works and doesn't need middle-aged white men and their drinking buddies standing around on hills in parks, heroically defending the town from a bunch of unarmed people standing at the bottom of the hill. Like, seriously, what the hell? I just, it it baffles me, and I do see it a little bit online, and I see it in person a lot, these usually, like I said, middle-aged white guys who just feel like they're the heroes when they're defending the bully. Like, I know you think you're defending the underdog because a lot of people are anti-police right now, and you see that, and you're like, the poor police, their feelings must be so hurt. Oh my gosh, I have to defend them. And it's like, they're fine. And people are like, well... Blue lives matter. There's no such thing as a blue life. Like, if my, if I decided that my job was too dangerous, if I decided that being a fucking cleaner was too dangerous, I could get a different job, and so can you, Mr. Policeman. There's no rule that says that you can't go do something else. But, you know, and you, when you got that job as a cop, did you not understand that it was going to be dangerous? Did you not understand that you might die to protect someone else? Isn't that the point? That you might die rather than kill someone else? Not to kill anything that makes you even a little bit afraid? Like, yeah, it's a dangerous job. You knew that going in, presumably. So, like, why all of a sudden is everybody being like, oh, no, the poor police is like, didn't they know? It's like, if I got my cleaning job and then was surprised to learn that I would be cleaning at it. Like... (laughs) If you don't want to do all of the potential dangerous work that comes with police work, don't be a policeman. Am I the only one who sees the logic there? Blue lives don't exist. They could quit any time. They could quit today. Get a different job. A black man cannot stop being a black man. It is impossible for him to take off his skin and stop being a black man. So, like, that that doesn't make any fucking sense. But okay. And this isn't going to change anybody's mind. This rant's not going to change anybody's mind. This is just to get it out of my system. To just get it out there in the air. How I feel about it. And... Y'all know the rules on my channel. You, If you tell me to kill myself, I will delete your comment. If you uh, tell me that you're going to kill me, I will delete your comment. So you gotta, if you want to insult me, you got to be chill about it in the comments, all right? You can insult me. You just can't be obnoxious about it. You got to do it the right way, okay? I'm probably not going to engage with you, but you can do it. So that's where I'm at, y- y'all. And I'm heated. I'm heated. But that's where I'm at. And I'm sorry if you got friends and family who are cops and you're like, oh, the poor cops. But your friend and your family member do not have to be 
a cop. I know a lot of their identity might be tied up in the fact that they're a cop, but they could quit today and nothing would happen to them. They could get a different job, go into roofing or something. I don't know. Become a cleaner. Who fucking knows? I don't care. But I'm going to stop rambling now because this video is going to be super stupid long as it is. I can speak English.